Hello everyone. Welcome to Marking Up with HTML for Beginners. I am Amit Kumar and this is the 14th tutorial, some more about lists. In our previous tutorial, we have seen different types of lists that we can create in HTML. So today we are going to discuss few more important things about lists. Now there are some attributes which are common to both UL and OL tag like type attribute. Now with the help of this attribute, we can specify the type of marker that we want to use with that specific list. Now the values to this attribute is actually different for both the lists. For example, in UL unordered list, we specify whether we want a disk, a circle or a square. And in case of an ordered list, we specify whether we want to start with numbers, with alphabets or with Roman numbers. So it's up to us what we want to specify to this type attribute. Now there are some specific attribute as well. For example, start and reversed. These two attributes are specifically for ordered list where in start we specify the starting value of the list and where in reversed, which is actually a Boolean attribute. So I hope you remember what are Boolean attributes. So reversed can be used to print the list in a reverse order. Okay, so whether you want to print it in a reverse order or not, that is specified with this reversed attribute. Other than this, unordered list, ordered list and definition list elements support all the global attributes. So I told you some global attributes like ID, class. So these can be applied to any of these lists. So it's time to see these things practically. So let's go to our desktop. Now here I have already opened the notepad plus plus and I have also created the project folder for tutorial 14. So I'm going to create a new file here and there are few things that I'm going to copy from the previous program. So let me copy this whole and then I will delete whatsoever we don't require. Now uh, I don't need any nested list right now. So let me remove this as well. And I don't want to show the definition list as well. Okay, so now we are focusing on this ordered and unordered list. So let me tell you the type attribute first. But before that, let me change the title of this page. So it should be attributes of lists. Fine. And here we are going to provide the type attribute to both the lists. So type is equals to and because it is an ordered list, I can specify number over here. So I am specifying one. And in the unordered list, I will specify a circle. So let's see what will be the output with these two changes. So let me save this in the tutorial 14 folder and name it as lists 2html Now let's run this page. So here's our output and you can clearly see in ordered list, it is printing from 1, 2, 3, 4 and in unordered list, it is showing those circles. Now, if I will change the attribute value, so let me change that first. Now, if I change the value here to A and here to a disk, then let's see what is the change in the output. So let me refresh this one. And now you can see this is printing A, B, C, D and this is a disk, right? Now the last value to check for this unordered list type attributes value is square and for this ordered list let's check a Roman number so capital I and let me save this and let's get back to the web page one more time and let me refresh. So clearly now it is showing in Roman numbers and this one is a square now. Now let me show you one specific attribute of ordered lists and the attribute name is start and we have to provide the starting value to it. Now we will provide the starting value in numerals no matter whether we are using Roman numbers or alphabets or numbers themselves. For example, I will provide 7 right now and I am saving this file and let's get back to the web page and let me refresh this so you can clearly see it is printing 7, 8, 9 and 10 right because we have mentioned that it should start with 7. So start is another attribute that can be used and now the third attribute and the last attribute of the ol tag is reversed. Now reversed as I told you is a boolean attribute so you need not to specify any value to it but if you want to specify then the value itself is reversed only. So that's why we need not to mention so I will show you it will work with any of the case. So I have saved this file and let me run this on the chrome. 
So clearly you can see now it's starting from 7 then 6 then 5 and then 4. So the list is printed in reverse order. Now we will get the same output even when we won't mention the value to this attribute because it's a boolean attribute. So let's see one more time what is the output so run launch in chrome and now you can see it's still printing in reverse so value of the boolean attribute need not to be specified right so we have seen this type attribute for ol and ul which is common to both and this start and reverse attribute which is actually specifically for the ol tag now that marks the end of this tutorial hope to meet you in the next video tutorial till then thank you and happy programming